Hey Fellowitarians! So in today's video I'd like to address two of your uh, recent questions. So one question is about building pre-heard mode uh, bases, right? So in particularly cavern layer base. Cavern layer base because it's the safest one and it provides the widest array of possible uh, micro farms and activities that can be done in hard mode and can help speed up things in hard mode greatly okay so and so without further ado let me just direct you to the one that I recently built and this is actually a, a joint operation it's a co-op play a multiplayer game where my uh, teammates actually have been doing a great job here building creating you know farming and whatnot and so uh, yeah kudos to them but this this farm let me show you this is the one that um, the main topics now is uh, of this question basically is the farm you see here okay so it's it's located in the cavern layer how do you know how can you tell that you see this uh, this uh, brown brown uh, background turning into gray so this is where the cavern layer begins and usually I would recommend to to make it very close to the underground level if you go too deep what happens is um, in pre hard mode and hard mode there are mages that can spawn right so there is a rune wizard and there is a team so both of those uh, can ruin your AFK experience obviously right so you don't want them to spawn when you're AFK farming things so that's why my suggestion is always be at the very top of the cavern layer almost bordering the the underground okay this way you ensure that those wizards wizards can never spawn inside they would spawn outside like they usually go low they, they spawn deeper right so and so first okay so let's let's take a look at the base okay so the first thing we'll, we'll notice here and this is actually not the middle of it let's just go to the center of the base okay so I mean first of all the entire area is about 300 tiles wide and 150 tiles uh, high okay so and this is the smallest uh, if you if you if you intend to fit many many events and micro farms in it and you want to cover all possible scenarios then it has to be bigger but this is this is not the smallest either it's actually I would say it's uh, it's an average size so for an average size farm like this for a farm base I would recommend 300 tiles wide and 450 tiles high okay so this and all this area this entire area is actually covered with walls and you would say think that this takes a long t a lot of time a lot of effort to do and not necessarily so um, armed with the potion builder potion and architect gizmo pack you pretty much uh, can do it within two hours if maybe even less depending on how efficient you are but it can be done pretty quickly okay so the first thing you notice here this is the middle top section um, massive storage right so this is a work in progress the storage is not finalized it's gonna expand as we go into hard mode but essentially everything is pretty much labeled and uh, you, you have these frames that pretty much show what type of uh, item is inside but we're also gonna put labels to all the chests it's not necessary and just some people prefer that and it's fine it helps whatever helps a little bit of that that, that can help you in your in your uh, you know experience in your journey it's great okay so as you can see here all the crafting crafting stations and tinker workshop and alchemy uh, uh, things with obviously there's right away next to it you have some plant farms and this is again work, work in progress some of it is on the surface actually if we look at the map here this is actually the complete farm but it's going to get uh, moved or at least copied to here to the inside the base why because um, during certain events such as solar eclipse for example you don't want to get if you don't want to farm this event and you get distracted and you cannot stay on the surface near your NPCs because you're gonna get attacked and you're gonna have to um, 
and your NPCs may, may die in the process or even if during some bo unnecessary unneeded boss fights that you want to skip you can actually stay safely inside your base and continue your other activities craft farm fish whatever right so so there is one pile on here you can notice that even the top part is being used it's used for uh, gem tree farm and here we have a micro uh, mushroom biome right so this serves multiple purposes in hard mode it's going to be very easy to farm truffle worms here how we do that is is essentially super easy you move aside to the the, the distance to, to let's say um, um, you move down and to the left hold on yeah down and to the left away from the farm but before you do that you essentially um, remove some of the of of the background walls right just so mobs can spawn and at this point you can use your battle potion you can use the uh, water candle and you'll see that mobs start spawning here right so obviously this won't work with the NPC staying here these are uh, by the way NPCs here are being temporary uh, house they will move eventually to a more permanent place okay so so this is one farm right it's micro farm it provides both the um, mushrooms obviously and provides uh, in a, like I said in hard mode it will provide uh, a, a cheap source of truffle worms okay so you don't need a bigger one actually for that which is fine okay so this area right underneath here will be used for micro hello farm which is going to be hello mimics um, it's going to be crystals there's going to be uh, obviously uh, souls of light uh, as well as rod of discord and, and many other things right so pretty much everything that but at this point we still don't have hello seeds or hello um, uh, pearl stones or any other materials that can be they are not in hard mode yet so this is why this area is kept free for now uh, free of any blocks right so now another thing to keep in mind at the bottom here there's going to be a micro corruption farm and this is again for corrupt mimics and um, souls of night and and some other elements right so Oh, actually, sorry, this is not corruption. This is going to be for crimson, not corruption, because corruption we already have on the left side. If we go to the the left mode, most part of this of this farm, you already see this is the micro corruption biome, right? So it's and it's really small. Okay, so why why would they keep it so tiny? Well, I don't want it to extend and overlap with other biomes too much, but I want it to be. Uh, so I will modify it in in hard mode once we're ready it's going to be slightly modified okay so so at this point what i would like to show you guys is another thing so look at these three uh, pools right so we have honey uh, lava and and water and now this pond by the way if i fish like uh, hold on this is not correct if i do this i'm fishing in corruption right now see so um hold on Let's just catch something that is relevant. Corrupt crate, right away. <laughs> you see that? Second, second try. Okay, so this is this is how awesome it is. Now, if you stand here and and fish, and the same pond turns into, let's see. Just remove those. Don't need them. Variegated lard fish. This is underground jungle, guys see what I mean okay and if you stand here hold on just need to do accuracy and this is just normal underground oh cavern right how awesome is that but that's not all right so now it's this is three biomes right there move a little bit oh what's going on now it's an underground or cavern layer snow Atlantic cod so essentially four different biomes in one pond right plus lava fishing plus honey fishing right so you have now six okay 
But that's not all. That's not all, guys. So, here you have your cavern layer. What? Cavern layer desert. Rock lobster. So, yeah, that, that all matches, right? So, later on in hard mode, the one on the right is gonna be crimson. The one uh, above here is going to be hollow. So, you can just catch hollow like this. And if you go slightly higher than that, right? So, I mean, we can extend and I will still modify it. So, it's gonna be a mushroom as well. So, this will pretty much will cover most of the fishing biomes in one uh, place. Now, another interesting thing here is this is an ice, uh, so cavern layer snow farm. So this farm, right now it's irrelevant, though you can still, you can actually uh, spawn, uh, if you break, again, if you break walls in a particular tiny spot, you can actually spawn creatures from that, from that uh, biome, right? So in this case, we can spawn uh, flinxes and get the flink stuff, right? So, but I mean, at this point, we're already over over geared for that, so we're beyond flinks, uh, so we, do, we don't need them, right? But in in hard mode, this will be a very easy way to farm, let's say, uh, ice tortoise, right? For for the frozen shell, or any other like ice mimics, you know. And so all of this is possible. And but the the, the and the problem is, it's not like you cannot achieve the same result by just um, you know creating proper farms for each and dedicated farm for each region right so inside those regions you can but the thing is this is a lot more convenient and safe right so you don't need to travel anywhere it's pretty much one place where you can you can have all your items um, yeah all your um, activities and all your uh, farms pretty much in the one one convenient location right so and if we take a look at this so another thing I wanted to tell you so this on the left is another farm it's not just a place for jungle fishing right the fishing happens down there right so this is the the fishing part but here we farm Queen Bee and it's very easy and it's very convenient and it's safe there is no uh, trappers no hornets will spawn right however if I want to decide to farm hornets let's say I want to do it now I want just farm hornets right so so I'm just gonna get this uh, this going right so what I can do I can just break check this out I can just break a, a, a few few background walls. There. There you go. There you go. See, essentially this is how we farm. And it's very easy. Look, we've got two stingers. Oh, actually more. We got, how many stingers we've got? Just got four stingers in like five seconds. See, this is how easy it is, it is to actually farm stuff safely you know, without going venturing down into underground or cavern jungle. Now, another thing to consider, like, yes, right now it's easy to farm Queen Bee here, but in hard mode, this will expand a little bit more and will be good for the first phase. Hold on, where did you come from? And it will be good for the first phase. Right, someone opened the door, that's why. So it will be good for the first phase of um, Pantera. By the way, here we will also add a few rows of jungle grass and we'll also get uh, life fruit. We'll also get Pantera bulbs. So we can spawn Pantera here and we can actually fight her here in the first phase. And then the second phase, we can create the tunnel going up for an easier fight. So guys, just to summarize real quick here, a massive storage facility, a massive crafting uh, station, uh, alchemy, with all the plant farms, with tree farms, 
with mushroom farms, with glowing mushroom biome, there's going to be hallow, there's going to be crimson, there is uh, desert, and also cavern ice biome. So all of those transfer, uh, will transform into farms. There is a, uh, as you can see here, it's a corruption farm. Okay, so, and again, don't let this uh, uh, weird uh, you know, rectangular size and small size confuse you because it's very easy to transform it into a good farm just by breaking some blocks. Uh, so wall background here, just to select this as an area, break it, and so then move to an area somewhere here that is now safe so basically essentially nothing spawns below you nothing spawns above you nothing to the right and only uh, place where mobs can spawn will be here so they will be spawning here con consistently so all you need to do is set up your uh, your minions your ballistas your sentries whatever you want to use and you can farm them easily in hard mode okay so and I mean of course you can set traps of course you can block it but right now it doesn't matter because we're not yet farming it right so when we reach hard mode we'll see so for example for mimics I would actually uh, not even I'm not even gonna bother much uh, so for for c corrupt mimics if we are looking for those I'm just gonna stand stand here and I'm gonna look until they spawn. The moment they spawn, I'm gonna engage it and I'm gonna use my, uh, let's say, unicorn to outrun it while I'm gonna just uh, shoot it with whatever I have, right? So the best weapon at the moment. So this is one. And here, of course, same idea on the right. If we blow, uh, break a couple of uh, uh, square, like a, a tiny section of walls here, for example, in this area, we break it and then we move to the left here in this way again nothing spawns anywhere except for the right part side and here we can actually uh, protect ourselves by placing some blocks because some of the mobs here can uh, shoot projectiles so we can farm them easily okay so this is another farm same idea here but unfortunately uh, you cannot spawn uh, unique unique uh, underground desert mobs in an artificial desert biome so this is only used it's going to be only used for fishing okay so here is going to be the crimson farm here on the right is going to be the uh, hollow farm and so all of this will also be uh, combined with corresponding fishing because it's very easy to set up a hollow biome here jump a couple of blocks up and just fish down see what i mean because right now, for example, we're fishing in, as you can see here, the music, we're fishing in the uh, cavern, cavern, marsh, cavern mushroom biome, okay? Yeah. See how, how convenient, everything is very convenient here, because again, you don't need to travel. In hard mode, all of those biomes may be dangerous, right? So if you want to go fishing in a particular place, like for example, looking for prismite in, in, in hollow, right? So it could be dangerous, could be difficult, could be tough. For a hardcore ca character, you can actually lose it just by <laughs> trying to fish in a place where you can get overwhelmed uh, and swarmed by enemies, right? So instead, you can just create your artificial hollow biome here and wait for the crystals to grow so you can collect them without any fight and while doing so you grow, grow uh, catch your prismite and and get your life force potions so this is essentially one of many 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 uses that uh such a base cavern layer base can have and so guys i hope you find this informative and let me know if you have further questions but this is essentially the uh the idea behind uh such a base right so create a safe centralized aggregated place where you can do many most of your hard mode activities preparation crafting while still being safe from any invasions any potential events happening so monsters cannot spawn inside unless you break walls and you actually create those areas artificially to to farm particular mobs particular artifacts particular items so that's a nutshell that's all for for today's video thank you for watching see you in the next one